Okay, I got my mind made up about what I'm going to do with these vehicles. And um, the drive unit in this is going to end up on that shredder roller. And um, that's the way it's going to roll. So I'm going to ready to swap this over, get it buttoned up. Got the wheels off and whatnot. Be ready to strap the tires. And um, <clears throat> ah, got them heating up. And I've got a set of the uh, the upgraded tires coming. So that ought to look good. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and take this off, polish it, and do a nice epoxy job on it with Brother Bill's name on it, XB's Bigfoot. And I'm also going to trim this. I got uh, a quarter 20 bolt to use. And because. Uh, I just can't get with these little plastic things, man. 20 bucks a pop and they're breaking off. And the only bottom cover plate I saw goes with part of the um, Inversion RC frame kit. You got to buy their frame kit. And the piece that goes with it, which is another option to that, is the only bolt to their frame kit. So, you know, it's not even the sand truck anymore because you got both sides of the vertical frame, the bottom plate, and there's, there's three, four other pieces. So you're basically buying another aftermarket frame. It's pretty. I don't see it being any stronger with the exception of the addition of the bottom plate that bolts in, just like this one is going to do. But uh, I got the feeling this don't cost nowhere near what theirs did. But in the meantime, that's what I'm rolling with. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn some screws and uh, bring it back when I got it broke down. Okie dokie. Turn the news down at the third mode. Okay. I went ahead and took some extra frame pieces off because I noticed some sand in the housing when I flipped up the cover over the uh, center diff. And uh, just like in the automotive world, when you're doing repairs, if you don't clean it as you take it down, every time you pick up a part to put it back, you put some dirt back in there too. And it's not about the hard parts, it's about the bearings. Dirt is not your friend, which is why they build NASCAR engines in a clean room. Case in point, even the engine in my truck while I was working on it. The shop was cleaned, it was a vac, exhaust fan running all day, every day, all night, in case it's storm, wind, keep the dust down, motors covered, all ports covered, everything, every tool wiped off every day. You know, and you gotta have tools. And you gotta be paying attention. Now, I, when I did take the truck out, I took it in the crate and I went out there to that place where it was all that mud and sand. And even though the center diff is enclosed on this thing, inside the housing, there was lots of little pieces of sand and crap. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the top of the cover that sits inverted like this. And this is the underside. So if the underside of the top looks like that, what did the bottom look like? Okay. That dirt and sand, while you're handling your new parts, messing around with this stuff, you know, you're wondering why things ain't going like they're supposed to, because you're not cleaning it. So, you might want to check your habits and watch your back, because uh, it'll definitely come get you. Um, this center plate worked out well. I'm going to polish it. I've got the epoxy and the colors chosen for the stenciling, and I'm going to do that while it's down. I've got... Um, made a couple of big hits on eBay today and for some more upgrades for this thing. In the meantime, I'm going to get the drivetrain right and once I got the drivetrain right, then I'll deal with the suspension 
and uh, that'll probably be it because I think just the shocks are the only thing that are going to need attention. Everything else seems to be okay. And the, uh, the new tires are going to be a real big plus. I was watching um, some of the Aussie channels and they had these, uh, they almost look like buggy tires for the um, Sin. And they're the same size as these. But there, there's a different tread on them. It's a little bit softer, and it's more of a general pattern. These these are mud grips and loose pack. You know, so you get in on near a hard surface, you got no traction at all, and um, you know it's not a high speed truck. But um, just for the sake of what I'm doing, because I'm not going to be playing in the mud anymore, I'm going to go ahead and dress her up. I'm going to take, um, where's that body at? I've got a um, body off my gas. I'm going to take and um, come off of there. I'm going to strip all this tape off, epoxy this bad boy back down. And this is going to be the bottom basher body for the sin after I get done with the epoxy and the fiberglass. It'll be pretty hard. It'll be pretty sturdy, and it'll be it'll have probably another half pound at least weight on it. But with the 8S system in there, I don't think it's really going to bother it much at all. So uh, that's a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I need to tape this down. That's another thing when you're working on stuff. Be sure to tape things down while you're working. Tape them down, disconnect them, because flipping that car over with your wires connected, something quit working, boom. You know, there's a lot of things you can do that can cause you grief down the road that appear to come from nowhere. Well, they didn't come from nowhere. They came from your own bad habits. That's a healthy motor, 6S1450. Now that shredder came from the factory with a 4S1450. I got this thing set right, I guess I did. 4S1450, so this thing is going to be substantially faster and substantially stronger because this truck would get up and get gone and it weighs three, four pounds more than that shredder, so that shredder those lock-up MTs over there that are on the uh, Italian are going to be on the shredder. The Italian's got a set of, of uh, banditos coming and a set of uh, fifth scale Tarmax, high-speed Tarmax. So that's going to be real interesting as well. In the meantime, um, let me see here. Do I have to tape this down? That's a lot of wires to pull loose, yeah. Uh, let's see here what we got. I don't like stuff flopping around where it can get broke. And I'll tell you something. He said, well, he's going through a lot of fuss about the car. On one of these copters, these frames, the smallest frame here right now is a couple hundred bucks. Causes a grade. The smallest copter here has got six Castle ESCs and six motors, $200 controller, video transmission system, three axis gimbal system, gimbal controllers, all this wiring and stuff. So you got stuff loose as a habit, flipping things around. You just asking for trouble. Just asking for trouble. And I. Don't move. Whoa. See here? I forgot to move something. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if that was something breakable and it made it to a, like a tile floor or the concrete floor in your shop, this falling floor in concrete shop knocked a couple teeth out of me. Feel, I'd have been feeling stupid. Okay? So, take heed. Take heed. 
Come on, girl, let go. That thing's tight. You gotta remember when I put the cooling fan in there. Yeah, there's a lot of wires in here. Okay, we're gonna leave the cooling fan on. The bat line, we're gonna leave the server on. We're gonna pull the ESC line out. And